You can't do an unboxing without this. I know a lot of people have been asking me to do an updated collection video. So for those that are curious and want to see what I pick up and see what I have, go ahead and follow me on Snups at Sneakerhead in the Bay. That is the profile name. If you don't have Snups yet, I will leave the download links down below. Go ahead and check it out. I will hit you with a follow back if you hit me with a follow first. So yeah, I got you fam. Anyways, I got some kicks to unbox, so let's get it cracking. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. Today is Wednesday, I'm not sure when I'm going to drop this video, but I wanted to let you guys know that today was my last day at school, so I moved all of my stuff back at home. So I'm home now for the summer, three months of straight up chillaxing, straight up goodness. I can focus on this YouTube thing a little bit more without any distractions, so yeah. Anyways, I just wanna let you guys know that, but we got an unboxing video here from eBay. So I got these from eBay, it's a pickup. Why am I poking the box like this? being kind of weird whatever it's cool but we're gonna get an up close kind of unboxing view for this so let's get it popping let me get a thumbnail for this video real quick okay that's good anyways um a lot of people don't like messing with ebay because they think it's sketch and whatnot but if you're cautious with who you deal with on ebay everything should be good to go as long as you find a seller that has a 95 percent feedback and up you should be good um, that's just a little tip for you guys that want to shop on eBay but are kind of weirded out by it we're gonna use this little weapon right here and believe it or not I found this outside of a mall now this could be like a murder weapon or something but yeah I found it and I'm just gonna use this as my new unboxing kind of knife tool I do went ham with the with the tape on this one look at this Look at that tape job right there. Good job, bro. Thank you. You're probably wondering what's inside. We're gonna get to that. Put this, put this back before I shake myself. That's kind of sketch though. You know, I found that. Like, what was it doing in that bush? Yeah, um, let's see, what do you guys think it is? Jordans, Nikes, Kobe's, Roshi's, Adidas, Sockney's, boom, got a pair of Air Jordan 1's, I've been on the Air Jordan 1 shopping spree lately, yeah I got these Air Jordan 1's right here, these are the new loves, this is a pack, or part of a pack, the old love, new love pack, I decided to pick up the new loves, so, I got this one right here, this pair, on eBay for a hundred dollars. Is that a steal? You guys think that's a steal or is it a deal? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Just a steal or a deal? We have the uh, tissue paper right there. Don't really care about it too much. But hey, ooh, these are in like way better condition than I thought they were going to be in. I thought they were going to be like more dirty, but hey, these are actually pretty uh, pretty crispy. Let me get you an up-close look. There we go. The condition is pretty good on these. You know, regular toe box creasing. A lot of people hate this creasing right here. For me, it's not really a big deal. Like, that's probably hurting some of you guys. Got you. Sorry for hurting your feelings. But, I mean, you're gonna wear your shoes. That's what they do. They crease. Unless you want to walk like a penguin, or unless you want to walk like something stuck up your, uh, you can fill in the blank. That's uh, that's what you gotta deal with, you know? Shoes are gonna crease. But hey, this is a nice pair right here. Nothing really wrong with them. Just a little bit dirty, but you know, a light cleanup. It has 100% stars. Let me just get you up close real quick so you could actually see it. Alrighty, here we go. We're a little bit closer now. It's a lot easier to see. Get it focused. Boom, there you go. A really clean pair for a hundred bucks um, I remember I had a dead sock pair I got a dead sock pair back in the day for 200 so 100 is not bad for this pair right here and the bottoms are actually really clean we have 100% stars 
don't know if y'all can see that, maybe not. 100% stars on this side. Let me make sure the other side's good before I get too excited. Yeah, this side's looking pretty good too. All right guys, so this is the pair that I picked up. Like I said before, eBay is not that bad. As long as you know who you're dealing with and you just look at the feedback of these sellers and just look at the pictures, make sure everything is straight, you should be good to go. So in my case, I think I came up on this pair, $100 for a nice pair of new loved ones. You guys let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Sneakerhead in the Bay, I'm out. Peace.